Hi students, in a 10th class physical science topic in from chemistry part classification of elements the periodic table. One more important question for 2 marks or 4 marks. What is ionization energy? How does it vary in groups and periods? So ionization energy. Ionization energy uh, can also be called ionization potential in short form it is denoted by IE or IP. IP means ionization potential. So what is ionization energy? For example, we are taking we are taking hydrogen its atomic number is 1. So atomic number means number of protons, it is also equal to number of electrons. So hydrogen atom has one electron and it has a one proton. So it is the nucleus of hydrogen atom, it has a one proton and it is a first shell 1s1. In this 1s1, so uh, in the 1s shell there is a one electron. So you know electron is negatively charged subatomic particle and nuclear charge is positive. Between them attractive force is there. So nucleus is attracting the electron towards itself. Now uh, we are going to remove this electron from outermost shell. We want to remove the electron from outermost shell of hydrogen that is 1s. From 1s we want to remove that electron. For this, we should need some energy. This energy is a more than energy of the nucleus with which electron, it is a pulling electron towards itself. The nucleus is pulling the electron towards itself with some energy that is attractive force. So to remove this electron, uh, from this 1s shell that is outside the 1s shell out of the hydrogen atom we want to apply some energy that energy is called ionization energy or ionization potential more simply to remove the electron from outermost shell what is the energy needed which is called ionization energy more simply students to remove the electron from outermost shell of an atom energy required is called ionization energy or ionization potential. So now we are going to write, we are going to write the definition for ionization energy. Ionization energy can also be called ionization potential students. Ionization energy can also be called ionization potential. The energy required the energy required to remove to remove an electron from from outermost shell of outermost shell of an atom in the gaseous state outermost shell of an atom in the gaseous state is called ionization energy or ionization potential but how much of energy required means so the energy of the nucleus with which it is pulling electron we must apply energy which is the more than the energy applied by the nucleus on the electron. When the nucleus pulls the electron with great energy, we should apply more energy. When the nucleus is a weaker, when the nucleus is pulling the electron with weak energy, so energy required is uh, less to remove the electron. So it depends on uh, nucleus uh, capacity, nucleus capability. So energy required to remove electron from outermost shell of an atom in the gaseous state is called ionization energy or ionization potential. Its units are 
its units are electron volt electron volt in short form can be written as ev students e small v capital ev one electron volt is equals to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules another unit is also there that is kilo calorie kilo joule per mole kilo joule per mole one more unit is there for measuring ionization energy kilo joule per mole so these are the units to measure ionization energy or ionization potential the energy required to remove an electron from outermost shell of an atom in the gaseous state is called ionization energy or ionization potential its units are electron volt electron volt short form is ev one ev is equals to those number of joules 10 power minus 19 that is into 1.6 and another unit is kilo joule per mole now how does ionization energy vary in periods and groups so you know when the nucleus when the nucleus attraction over the electron increases to remove that electron more ionization energy is needed when the nucleus attraction over the electron decreases to remove that electron energy needed decreases that is why nucleus attraction but nucleus attraction on the outermost shell depends on atomic size or atomic radius so using the concept of variation of atomic size or atomic radius we can understand easily variation of ionization energy in groups first variation of variation of ionization energy in a group but you know in a group from top to bottom atomic radius increases for example so it is the first element and this is electron in this is the second element in the group and it is a third element in the group so in a group from top to bottom atomic radius increases here new it is the distance from nucleus to outermost shell it is the distance it is the distance so as the distance from nucleus to outermost shell nucleus to outermost shell increases attraction of the nucleus over the electron decreases that is why so this electron can be removed with less ionization energy but to remove this electron uh, more ionization energy is needed because the distance from nucleus to this electron is a less because atomic size is a less so atomic size is a less more ionization energy is needed to remove electron because attraction of the nucleus over the electron is higher but here distance from nucleus to outermost shell is higher that is atomic radius is higher then attraction of the nucleus over this electron is a lesser that is why we can remove that electron with less ionization energy so from this we can understand atomic radius increases ionization energy decreases so you know in a group from top to bottom atomic radius or atomic size increases that is why that is why ionization energy decreases so in a group in a group from top to bottom from top to bottom atomic radius sorry in a group from top to bottom ionization energy ionization energy decreases because atomic radius or atomic size increases atomic radius or atomic size increases so as the atomic radius increases attraction of the nucleus over the electron decre decreases then 
वी कैन रिमूव दट इलेक्ट्रॉन ईजीली विथ लेस अयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी सो इन ए ग्रूप फ्रम टाप टू बॉटम अयोनाइजेशन एनर्जी डिक्रीजेस बिकॉज अटामिक रेडियस इंक्रीजेस बट इन पीरियड्स इट रिवर्सेस इन अ इन ए पीरियड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इट इज दिस इज आपोजिट सो नाउ a uh, variation of uh, ionization energy in a period so we see important question students uh, variation of atomic radius variation of atomic uh, ionization energy and also variation of electron affinity and do variation of electronegativity variation of ionization energy in a period but we said in a period from left to right atomic radius decreases so that distance from nucleus to outermost shell decreases then attraction of the nucleus over the electron increases to remove that electron more ionization energy needed that is why ionization energy in a period from left to right increases so in a period from left to right in a period from left to right ionization energy increases because atomic radius because atomic radius decreases as the atomic radius decreases nucleus from uh, distance from nucleus to outermost shell distance from nucleus to outermost shell <coughs> decreases then nucleus can attract the electron with greater energy greater attractive force so that to remove that electron we must apply more energy so which is called to more ionization energy that is why in a period from left to right ionization energy increases because atomic radius decreases this is a what is ionization energy how does it vary in groups and periods students in the next video what is electron affinity how does it vary in groups and periods what is electronegativity how does it vary in groups and periods so most important topics so welcome in our next two videos that's all students for today's class